now we're gonna get here and we're gonna pull 23 and a half inches off like a light ain't that something look at this thing go gone you can't get to oh yeah man i got 26 knots of wind today i can get out of this old tight hole i can get out of it the hell you can Look at that, but we just proved it. You can't get out of it. Sorry, don't put yourself in a position. Can't get out of it. Uh, anytime you're landing with an obstacle, especially a tree line, it's no good anymore. The wind's no good to you, it's gone. Unless you can get up there to it, it's gone. But I'm gonna show you something else too, same configuration. This is something I don't teach for you to use up. You know, this, I teach this to save your ass. You're in a spot you need to get out of it. And you're pulling 23 and a half inches and it ain't happening. And you're getting in trouble. I'd rather not see you go straight back down because man, you're gonna get in some trouble there too if you're up at any height. Or if you're trying to get out of this thing, look, look at them trees. You're trying to get out, oh, I'm in a bind. You look, look at this power. Right. Pull that 26 inches. Don't let that red line kill you. As soon as you wow, get over man. top of it, you come on out of it. And don't it's let, got juice when don't it gets let that red line. line hurt you now. But don't be up there at no 27 inches neither. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. You can use 25, 26 um, pretty much any time, but don't ever pull past that. Because then we've get we've got we've gotten to a point where that little motor just can't do anymore. Alright, I want you to feel this. You have all three controls. Go ahead and walk her up there to that tree line where we were a while ago. And let's pull that 23 and a half and try to make it happen. Okay, you want me to set her down first? Uh, we don't have to. We can just use it off of a three-foot hover. Just kind of demonstrating the effects of the wind. Um, when you're trying to clear a power line versus a tree line. Right, okay, so you want me to go ahead and pull up? Yeah, well, um, you already it right there. pretty much. That's it. This thing's dead in the water. Right, so then you want to pull that little bit of extra, get it up, just try 25. Yeah, just try 25. If 25 Better. works, you use 25. Right. You know, get on over your trees. Now That's you her. Back it. Look, look at this thing go. Now you can back it down to back your max. All right, um, take me down. Um, well, let's just 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 go to the thousand foot marker. Go ahead and roll her on in and drop that collective little half cyclic. Slow it down. There you go. Controlling that descent with your cyclic as well. Go ahead and lower that collective. Let's take her right on down. There you go. Go ahead and fly this old girl. Don't be scared of her. Okay, now we're simulating the same takeoff with a power line across in front of us. We've got a wire across it. A wire don't hold any wind back. Just pull 23 and a half inches and go straight up right here. It don't even take 23 and a half. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Clear the obstacles, Clear let the nose over. Absolutely. ease over them. Yep. Pretty amazing. Pretty awesome. Good stuff. So yeah. just pay attention to your uh, pay attention to your departures, you know, your corridor, uh, what, what you're trying to get out of. If you had a space of, uh, you know, trees like that, and then there was like five or six trees real thin, and then another thick spot, go over there where you can get that wind. You want that wind on your nose. And it ain't going to bleed through a whole patch of trees, but it'll, it'll definitely bleed through four or five. But, um... You know, today's a big lesson on coloring the wind around you. Color Absolutely. the air. Uh, keep it all colored. Everything up here is green. Everything back here is red. 